I'm Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars. Today, I'm sitting behind the wheel of an absolutely beautiful 1966 Ford Mustang Fastback Custom that is total eye candy. To start off this uh, presentation here, uh, this is a non-rehearsed video, so please visit our website at msclassiccars.com for a full description with tons of highly detailed photos. I'm sure I'm going to forget some information uh, during this video, although I have included some notes here to reference uh, again throughout the presentation. If you have or have not been following MS Classic Cars, uh, I only collect number one and number two condition vehicles. Uh, I take great pride in owning uh, all of the inventory. We're the only classic car dealership in the country who services every vehicle we sell. We document that work with an invoice that is pictured within our photo gallery. Uh, as an example, in this new binder that again I create for every car, uh, we start this off with plastic sleeves, invoices, and so forth. You will clearly see the invoice uh, for the service work we did on this car, uh, which totals $7,356.62. To talk a little bit about um, this particular vehicle here, uh, kind of an interesting story. I had actually purchased this vehicle uh, from a gentleman uh, and his wife, actually two super nice people that I become friendly with. Uh, I believe it was back in 2016, maybe 2017. Um, we actually serviced the vehicle uh, at that time when I had purchased it from them. Uh, again, I'd have to reference my notes. I want to say we spent two, three thousand dollars on it. And uh, he uh, saw the car listed on my website after we finished servicing it, detailing it and everything else. And he called me back and said he missed the car. He thought we did a great job sorting it all out. Him and I struck a deal. He bought the car back and uh, he actually kept it until recently, uh, about a month or so ago. Uh, he called me, said he was going to be retiring, wanted to liquidate uh, some assets, and he wanted to know if I wanted to buy the car back. So of course I jumped on the opportunity, I bought the vehicle back, and one thing I will say, uh, which I called him and said to him uh, and his wife as well, um, is because MS Classic Cars has learned so much uh, every year, year in, year out, We've really raised our own bar internally. When this vehicle came in, we were actually a little bit embarrassed about some of the things that we had uh, not done when it was in our service department the first time. Uh, so again, when we got the car, because he only drove it uh, a few miles, trailered it to some shows and things like that, uh, we went ahead now, brought it through the new MS Classic Cars service department in process, and we found a lot of things that we wanted to correct and sort out. So as I will say over and over, probably for the rest of my career, that regardless of how nice the car is, who has built the car, every single car needs to be sorted out in some fashion. Again, we're the only classic car dealership in the country who does this. We document it with an invoice, so when people buy cars from us, 
Uh, they can be rest assured, they're in great working order, they can get in them, they can enjoy them. We also detail these vehicles to the highest level of quality. Uh, we, we really start with the undercarriages, the interiors, the engine compartments. We spend days detailing cars as well. So that's something I just wanted to make note of, especially with the story of this particular car. Getting into this particular unit here, um, I'm a huge fan of first generation Mustangs. As you will see on my website, my email address uh, is MAJA, that's my first two initials of my uh, name, my wife's name, and then 65 Stang at AOL.com. Uh, my first car was a 65 Mustang. I am a huge, huge fan of first generation Mustangs in general. People always ask me, if Mark, if you had to pick you know, five cars, five of your favorite cars of all time, what would they be? I absolutely would pick a 65 slash 66 Mustang Fastback as one of my favorites of all time. So I'm a huge, huge fan of this body style. Uh, we've sold some magnificent first generation Mustangs over the years at MS Classic Cars. You can reference those vehicles on our sole page. Uh, check them out for yourself. So as the VIN number indicates with this particular car, referring my notes here, uh, this vehicle was built in San Jose, California. It was built as a 66 Ford Mustang Fastback with a 289 four valve V8 engine, which produced 225 horsepower. What's uh, important about that is there's a lot of vehicles on the market today that are Fastback conversions. What that means is people took coupes and they actually created a Fastback that truly never existed. Um, this car was actually born a Fastback and it was born with an eight cylinder. Not all Fastbacks were born with eight cylinders. They were born with six cylinders. Doesn't really mean a lot with this car because this car was customized, but I thought I would go on record and state that information. So this vehicle, uh, starting with the exterior, obviously this car has been completely restored from head to toe. It is in beautiful show quality condition. Uh, I would say the body work on this car is very, very nice. All the gaps are in really uh, uh, tight order. Everything looks really nice and straight and everything. The hood is actually a Shelby GT350 style fiberglass hood. Again, that fits really well. It opens and closes really nicely. Why we're on the subject of the hood, when the vehicle came back to us uh, the second time for our service process, as you will see on the invoice, we added Ring Brothers hinges. Not an easy task to get those hinges to fit perfectly, especially with an aftermarket fiberglass hood. The guys in service did a great job with that, getting the hood to open and close properly. Uh, and again, the hood is held by an actual hood latch and not hood pins that sometimes people add to these cars that are not as secure as the actual hood latch. So again, I'll compliment my service department on that job. Those Ring Brothers hinges were quite expensive and it really added a lot of character to the engine bay. Getting back to the exterior, um, the car was finished in a very unique color. It's a beautiful color. It's actually called Porsche Emerald Green. Uh, a super, super color for this car. I think it dresses it perfectly. Of course, uh, it was striped with the uh, GT350 style uh, stripes across the whole car and so forth. And those stripes, uh, rather than going with your typical color uh, stripes that they will use. They used a very custom kind of tan, a little bit of a shade of gold in the stripes. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, what a color combination. That's why I referred to it in my opening statement in this video as eye candy, because that is clearly uh, what it is. So again, touching base on some of the exterior features here, we have these dual Cobra style mirrors that look super. We also have a GT style uh, front bar with fog lights on the grill, which I think looks awesome. Uh, it's got custom emblems throughout GT350 and so forth, Mustang emblems. Uh, we have the uh, shark fins in chrome on the rear quarters, which looks super nice. We even have a Shelby GT350 gas cap, which looks uh, super nice as well. Getting into the wheels, I think the wheel choice for this car was perfect. Uh, these wheels fit really good. They don't rub. Uh, you don't have to worry about all of that. Sometimes when you get these cars that have bigger wheels and tires, depending on how hard you cut the wheel or how bumpy the roads are, the tires tend to rub, wheels rub. We deal with it all the time. These are actually a perfect uh, choice. They're an, all, uh, they're an American racing uh, torque thrust style wheel, 17-inch uh, 
they are wrapped with brand new um, hand cooked tires that we actually added MS Classic cars, so they're brand spanking new tires. What I think was the icing on the cake with these wheels is they actually customized a spinner to represent uh, something back from this generation in Shelby to these torque thrust style wheels, which I thought was a perfect addition. I actually love the look of these wheels and tires. Everything else on the exterior of this vehicle that you're looking at in this video or in our pictures, uh, such as an example, the front windshield uh, is new, the side glass, uh, the vent windows, the back glass is original, it's stamped Ford Carlite, uh, but it's in super uh, condition considering it being original. The wipers are new, it's got modern style headlights, uh, the bumpers are new. Uh, everything that's basically on the exterior of this car, including all the stainless trim that's been restored, is in like new condition. It's in beautiful shape. Uh, again, the outside of this car really, really speaks volume, and it draws a ton of attention when you're driving it, as you would expect. Now, as uh, you make your way into the interior, uh, this is probably uh, my, my other favorite part of this car, is not only is it super nice on the exterior, but this interior is definitely... Uh, a step above what you see with most first generation Mustangs. So starting off uh, with the interior, obviously we got a two-tone effect here that perfectly matches the exterior color combination. We got the green, which is on the top of the door panels, bottom of the door panels, bottom section of the dash, obviously matches the body color of the car. The tan interior uh, is almost an exact uh, color match to the stripes. They did a gorgeous job with that. And there's also an additional color tan in the interior, so it's kind of like a two-tone effect that is found in the middle of the seats. Also the door uh, pattern as well in between here, which came out spectacular. So going over this interior, the headliner is in absolutely beautiful condition, super, super tight. One of the best headliners I've seen in a first generation Mustang. They did a great job with that. The dash pad is brand spanking new. Talking about the gauges, uh, it's got white face gauges. They're all custom gauges with uh, kind of like a silver uh, rim around the gauges. Uh, they got black lettering and so forth. The gauge bezel is actually kind of a, a silver aluminum style uh, gauge bezel that looks really nice. It does have a polished uh, chrome uh, tilt steering wheel. Um, I believe that's an I did it or Flaming River uh, steering column. It's got custom levers here for that. So if you're bigger, you got maybe longer legs or whatever, you can totally adjust the steering wheel to uh, your specifications. It does have a Moto Lita uh, wood steering wheel here. These are commonly found in these first generation, second generation Mustangs. I love the Cobra emblem that they put as the uh, emblem on the horn button. Uh, everything in this interior, by the way, is in functioning order. That's what we do at MS Classic Cars. We sort through everything. Uh, so it has kind of a retro style uh, radio. Um, it does have this beautifully designed, custom-made center console, which houses this uh, Hurst shifter here with matching leather boot. It's got kind of a chrome bezel around the shifter. It's got a custom Shelby shift knob. It has cup holders. It also has this little uh, console here that opens up for storage, and it also acts as an armrest. I think they did a really nice job with the height of the armrest, because when you rest your elbows on this, uh, you know, door pad here and on this console, they're both about the same height, which is really nice. All the hardware on the door is brand new. It's got an aluminum glove box door. Uh, it's got a Carroll Shelby signature on there. I can't go on record and say that's original or not because I don't have any authentication to document that. Uh, there's also a Cobra emblem that was stuck on the uh, glove box door, which adds a little character. Uh, talking about Again, the door panels, these door panels are totally customized. This was obviously done in an upholstery shop when this car was restored. Again, they're two-tone. There's a little bit of wood on the door handle, the perfect amount of wood that uh, just kind of coincides here with this wood steering wheel. And of course, uh, uh, the different material on the door panel looks super sharp. Getting into these seats, uh, one of my guys at the service department commented he thought these seats were extremely comfortable and really nice, the height of them, everything. Uh, seats can be quite challenging sometimes with these cars, especially the smaller cabins, uh, getting the right seat. These seats fit perfectly, they recline, they've got seat belts, they're super comfortable. And again, not only did they put the 
darker tan inserts in these seats, uh, same kind of pattern as the door uh, pa uh, hand, uh, panels, but they also have this emblem that's embossed in the headrest, which looks pretty cool as well. So they definitely did a nice job with that. There's also matching rear seats here in the back. They look absolutely spectacular. They are seat belts in the back for the rear passengers. They also have the Cobra emblem that matches the horn emblem on the seat belts as well. So again, not uh, a thing about this interior that uh, is not spectacular. Even the carpeting is custom in this car. Uh, it would be a pretty penny today if you were to have somebody do this interior to this level, um, some really, really uh, digging this interior. It's one of my favorite parts about this car. Uh, the trunk compartment. I will also mention that the trunk compartment has been boxed. Uh, it boxed and it's been upholstered, so it matches the interior here. And it also has uh, the GT350 embossed on the front panel of the trunk compartment. You can see all of this information, uh, not only in this video, but also our photo gallery. So make sure to check that out. It's not often that you find first-gen Mustangs that have finished trunk compartments, so it's definitely another highlight of this vehicle. Getting into the engine compartment, uh, opening up the hood of this car, uh, it's like opening up a jewelry box. Uh, they painted the engine compartment the same color as the body. They did a beautiful, beautiful job with that. It just adds a lot of character. I mentioned earlier about the Ring Brothers hinges that we added here. There's a ton of chrome accessories throughout the engine compartment, like the uh, fender brace support that's there. Uh, adds a lot of character. There's a chrome alternator. You clearly will see uh, within our description and all of our photos everything that was done and modified with the engine bay itself. Um, it's actually powered by a rebuilt uh, 302 V8 that has GT40P heads. Uh, so the engine is a really well-built engine. Uh, it runs super. Uh, it's been dressed with uh, aluminum Cobra style valve covers and air cleaner. Again, there's a bunch of accessories like the pulleys and, and things like that. Uh, when the car came back to us for service, we did change a lot of the hoses. We changed some of the things that uh, we had left uh, before just to kind of modernize the engine bay a little bit. I think we did a great job with that. It's got an MSD uh, ignition system in there, which looks really, really nice. Uh, the battery uh, was kind of uh, taken down to just the black with the brand new uh, terminals and things like that. Um, the engine actually breathes out of uh, stainless steel tri-Y uh, headers into a Flowmaster exhaust system with chrome tips. That actually sounds super. You'll hear that in a minute when I go ahead and start the car. It also has a Be Cool aluminum radiator with electric fan. Uh, that radiator is a great radiator. It also has a uh, billet overfill canister. Uh, so again, that combination of that motor uh, with that ignition system, with that exhaust, that radiator, it's a great combination. Um, and the engine is actually coupled to a Ford uh, four-speed top loader transmission with hydraulic clutch. Uh, it shifts absolutely beautiful. Again, when the car was in our service department, we went through everything in the engine bay. We went through the clutch. We went through the transmission. We basically made it uh, really, really drivable and streetable. Since this car has been restored, um, it has just over 1,900 miles on it. So it's a relatively fresh restoration in that regard. Obviously, it's got many, many years ahead of it where the new owner can really enjoy it. Uh, the power is actually transferred to the pavement uh, through an 8-inch Posi rear end. Uh, great rear end for the power that this motor is producing. Nothing too radical, but it's got plenty of pep. Uh, so when you're driving it, you get a lot of, lot of power cruising down the road. And again, it sounds uh, super. Getting into the undercarriage. Um, the undercarriage of this vehicle is in beautiful condition. Uh, again, if you decide at a car show you want to put some mirrors under it, it's nice enough to do so. When they painted the undercarriage, uh, they painted it in the same color as the body, except it's a little bit of a textured look uh, for durability and so forth. Uh, good choice when they did that. Um, Referencing some of the, the notes that I have here, um, it does have uh, Flaming River rack and pinion steering in the front, so the steering is really tight and nice. Uh, sometimes these first-gen Mustangs with factory suspension or factory steering can be a little bit loose on the road, especially at higher speeds. This is a great choice uh, for the steering system. 
It also has frame connectors, give the body a little bit more rigidity. Um, it does also have power front disc brakes. Um, it does have a rear stabilizer bar, again, to keep things uh, on the road. It's got KYB uh, shocks. Uh, so there's been some mild, I would say they're mild upgrades uh, to the suspension. It also has heavy duty leaf springs in the back. Again, I can go on uh, with more details, but all this information can be found on our website, again, at msclassiccars.com. So that pretty much wraps up uh, this video here today. Uh, this is a car, again, that I'm very, very proud of. If you go on the market today, things are red hot. Uh, 65, 66 fastbacks are very desirable. One of the hottest collector cars on the planet. Uh, do yourself a favor, go on all the popular websites, look at what's available, see these cars from the exterior, interior, engine bays, and undercarriages, compare them to this car that you have here today. Keep in mind that our cars have been fully serviced and fully detailed. Put that into the equation. You'll clearly agree that this is a great opportunity. We appreciate you watching. I'm going to go ahead and start it. If you have not signed up for our VIP email blast, please do that. Thousands of people follow us with our email blast. If you have not uh, followed us on social media yet, please do so. We're on all the social media networks. Again, we appreciate you watching this video. I'm going to go ahead and start this baby. You'll see how awesome it runs. It fires right up. It's burned like a kitten. I can't really say enough about how good of a job the guys did in service. Once again, we appreciate you watching this video. Rock and roll.